Joe B, a movie and a bottle of wine. Hey everybody, look, the kitty cat is in her scarf box, her favorite place to be, in front of that lamp. Ever since I brought that lamp home and threw those scarves in that box, I cannot get the cat away from it. Look, it's her favorite thing. She's got her little blinky toys here. When she wants to play with something blinky-thawed, loving the cat. Oh, it's all about the cat, isn't it? <laughs> hey, everybody. It's Joby and Matt, and you saw the cat. She's over there in her box in front of the lamp with all of her scarves. She's so happy. That's her favorite place to be. With her blinky balls. With her blinky balls. I can't, I, I don't know who loves the blinky balls more, me or her. Me, I love them more. <laughs> <laughs> blinky balls. We didn't do a show last week because I was lazy and tired and I had to go to sleep. But uh, hey, we got double this week. So I'm going to start with the one from last week that was first and foremostly was Greta. It was an old, uh, I, I, I want to say Hungarian, but when you read the, the, the thing about the movie, she's mm -hmm. not Hungarian. Okay. But anyway, she leaves these handbags on the subway in front of girls that she wants to lure into her home and trap them behind a wall and starve them to death. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah. Greta. Um, it's quite sinister. So the, the, the girl, uh, she was in uh, the real cute little round face girl that was in, um, oh God, anywho. We'll come oh, I know, it. From, from Kick-Ass, right? Isn't that her? Chloe, that's her, Chloe that's her, that's whatever, her, that, Moritz or whatever. That's oh. her. She was in Spider-Man too, right? He was hanging upside down. No, and I think. She I, rolled his thing down and kissed him on the That's Kirsten mouth. Dunst. I think this is the oh. Chloe from uh, Kick-Ass. Okay, Chloe from Kick-Ass. He's totally right. If he's I'm wrong, right. I'll say, no, I was no, wrong. No, he's totally okay. right. So she uh, puts the bag out. The girl gets the bag. She takes it back to the woman. And come to find out, the woman is putting the handbags Crazy. and luring the women. Crazy. Yeah. She yeah. develops a friendship with her, and, and, and then things go awry. And, and I don't want to ruin it for you as to how it goes. but Things it, go awry. Things go awry. Good show. There you go. It was a good show. Cool. If you want to watch okay. something kind of sinister. You enjoyed it. Thumbs up? Kind of. It, it, totally. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not two thumbs. One thumb. One thumb. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, the cleaning lady. Um, this was a half a thumb. The cleaning <laughs> lady. Um, yes. Something was bad about her mother. Um, she was disfigured. She was brought in to help this woman with the situation she had going on. I don't want to give too much away because you could just totally ruin it and then you don't okay. want to watch it at all. But the, but, but the tripping thing was she caught these rats and she put them in a blender. And she fed them to somebody who was living in a trailer. Yikes. Yeah. She had her like sequestered <laughs> in the trailer and fed her uh, ground up rats. Okay. Um, She's not going to win an episode of MasterChef. That's all I got to say. No. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Idiot sandwich what? No. No, no she didn't cook it. It was no. just bzzz. Yeah. It's kind of like how Hard I cook. Hard pass. No. Kind of like you, how I cook. You we're cook not better. To, we're not turning the oven on. Yeah, but you cook better than ground up rats <laughs> in, a, in, a, in, a, in a food processor. So, um, no. it, the woman was having an affair with a guy, and, and, and the cleaning lady was brought in. And, okay. Uh, I, I don't know. You can watch it if you want. It's one of those uncorked movies. You know, okay. Uncorked. Kind of crazy. All right. Um... <laughs> I watched Gloria Bell. That had Juliana Moore in it, and okay. it was a coming-of-age movie. Um, she was divorced from her husband, and she was having a good time. Um, okay. I don't know. It wasn't up my alley. It could be up your alley. Uh, she had a relationship with this guy. You know how I feel about relationship stuff. She had a relationship with this guy, and then something went awry, and, you know, blah, 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 and relationship shit. Can I please have more of that mushy stuff, whatever it was? So, okay. if you if you like uh, relationship shit, you might like okay. Gloria Bell. So, you okay. like horror movies, comedy, science fiction, mm -hmm. 
action adventure, but romantic comedies are like. And those damn dog movies that make me cry. Oh well, that but those she, damn dog movies. But she actually likes those. I like them, but they make, me cry make her cry so much. <laughs> but I got tissues right here. I'm so ready. Okay, she's ready. I'm so ready for tissues okay. and the whole thing. The they're going to keep journey. making those, you know, after that dog's journey and the dog's whatever. They're dog's keep life making. and dog's purpose. They're, and yeah, dogs. they're going to just keep making those movies. You Get still got to let them in and out. Go. You got to walk them. You got to take the poop bag. So dogs are That's a lot of responsibility. Life. That's my life. There are a lot of responsibility. Cat poops in a box. She lives in the house all day. Yeah, I, mean, I should I have, should have been a cat down. person. She's good. Anyways. Maybe Matt will take Patio Cat. Y'all remember Patio Cat. Yeah. <laughs> not with my dog. When my dog <laughs> passes away, maybe. But no, not right now. He's going to go on vacation. Okay. <laughs> She's going to try to con me into it. <laughs> um, we watched Us tonight. Matt was so sweet as to bring that. But um, I don't want to review it yet because I want to understand it better. This is a two-time watching movie. So we're going to re-review that week. Next week. Okay. You guys remember that. Put a pin in that and come back to it. Speaking of re-review, I have watched Captain Marvel three times now. Wow. So last week I watched it with Matt. Okay. We loved it. Yep. I watched it again because I wanted to um, understand it better. And then as soon as I finished watching it, my son came over and we watched it one more time. Yeah. So I truly get this movie now. Okay. Okay. So Captain Marvel was awesome. Okay. Awesome. I loved it. I loved all the characters in it. Oh my God, the flurkin. I'm sure Matt's going to show you something about the flurkin the with flirking, the cat. Yeah, yeah loved it. Um, it, 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 it. I don't want to give anything away. You get to know the origin of Nick Fury's eye patch. So yes. that, that's pretty cool. Yes. Yeah. And I want you to watch the whole thing. I don't want to give anything away about anything, about her. And it's going to, yeah, and it's going to lead into the Avengers movie, which is coming out. So, well, it's already out in the theaters, but coming to video soon. But coming yeah. to my TV soon. Yeah. That's what it's coming <laughs> That's to. That's right. That's what it's coming to. But I loved it very much. You guys, it, it, it will not let you down. Captain right. Marvel. But just, just to, just to, just to, uh, like, to, to be nerdy or whatever. No, 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 I'm not. But it's like, this is Captain Marvel's Captain Marvel, which is a different character than the original Captain Marvel, Shazam, which she reviewed. Yes. So it's like DC has, well, Fawcett Comics originally had, you know, Captain Marvel, which became a DC property, Shazam. But then there was like a lawsuit and whatever. So now Marvel has Captain Marvel. So the original Captain Marvel is Shazam, and Marvel's... Female superhero is Captain Marvel, which is confusing, but eh, who cares? Billy Batson and his mentor travel the highways and byways of the land on a never-ending mission to right wrongs, to develop understanding, and to seek justice for all. In time of dire need, young Billy has been granted the power by the immortals to summon awesome forces at the utterance of a single word. Shazam! word which transforms him in a flash into the mightiest of mortal beings, Captain Marvel. Yeah. <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it good to understand? Right. Matt can explain it. <laughs> uh, kind of. <laughs> okay. Um, another one that I watched that was kind of a letdown was called uh, J.T. Leroy. It was a true story. Um, it had Laura Dern in it, and she was a writer. Okay. Um, I think she felt she couldn't be taken seriously as a woman as a writer or something. So she felt like she needed to have this... Um, it was her husband's sister come in and be J.T. Leroy as hmm. though it was a young boy wow. that was writing these okay. books. Okay, okay. It was kind of boring. It kind of drug on, but it was a true story thing. And if you want to know the true story be behind J. T. Leroy, okay. watch it. You know that's that's true. Like in real life, uh, the authors P. D. James and J. K. Rowling's yes. both women, yeah. but they had to, uh, it's different now. Pen but back names. then, they had to use that initial to make fool people and thinking men wrote it because yeah. who would ever read a, a book written by a woman which is of course stupid yeah and i reviewed a movie a long time ago yeah. um it was a, a oh that's right the author was, was it that? was a woman and she she 
couldn't be taken seriously right. as a woman. Yeah. I can't remember the name of it. Matt will figure it out. He figures out yeah. everything. But uh, J.T. Leroy. Yeah. Uh, sounds, sounds cool. Okay. You can watch it if you want right. to. Um, I, I watched another one. Oh, my God. All right. So, I got up this morning, and I had rented these movies for two days. So, I had... I had to watch them. Had to watch them. Justin wanted to take me to shoot my gun, but I was like, no, I can't go shoot my gun, Justin. I have to stay home and watch these movies for you Damn, people. Damn, for you. For you people. For you people. For you people. She gave up firearm practice. So. Yes. Captive State. Yep. It had John Goodman in it. From beginning to end, I did not know what the hell I was watching. <laughs> It was something about these aliens and landing on the planet and taking over, and he was in charge of something, and they were fighting them, and it just went, oh, it was such a long day. <laughs> it, it, did, it didn't really capture her imagination, apparently. No. So you don't give it a big recommendation. No, I love John Goodman, but I was sure. like, what is he doing? He's making a what paycheck. Is, He's making a paycheck. Doing? All right, and then yes, and then we moved on to the Hummingbird Project. Okay, with Selma Hayek. Oh, good, bad. I think this was a true story. It had that young man from Zombie Land in it. Oh, 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 gosh. It had Selma Hayek. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. And he was building a pipeline of information that went from. New York to Kansas. And it was supposed to make the internet for them on trading seconds quicker, okay. milliseconds quicker, okay. milliseconds quicker. All important when you want to win an eBay auction. Okay. <laughs> so. Yes? Hummingbird? No? I don't know. I feel like it was a true story thing. If but you did it like rivet that, you? Did it, did it you, grab you? Did it, did it make you like no, care about the characters? No, not really. Then I really like the guy from Zombie Land. I know who you're talking I about. I like Selma Hayek. I can't think of his name, but yeah, I know exactly who you're talking about. I, I like just, Selma Hayek. You know, Hyatt the real too. nervous little fellow, right? From Zombie Land, right? But I, it wasn't my cup of tea. This week was not my cup of tea. Not in her the box. cup of tea. I had two movies that Matt and I had to take back tonight. Unfortunately, and, you'll yeah. review them next week. I will. I will. I'll put them on my list, and and we'll see how those go. Because right. anything's got to go better than what I watched this week. Well, we're sorry. I apologize. Um, uh, it's okay. Not your fault. If the movies stink, it's not your fault. Some of the previews yes. that I watched was Ma. Ma. I'm very excited yeah. about Ma. Okay. The woman looks like she has these kids come over and party and have a good time. And then she kills them. Then she goes crazy. Yeah, and then she kills them. That's right up my alley. Much more than <laughs> anything that I watched before. You know, that senseless violence. I love it. I hope we're going to have some gratuitous sex and violence. Well, I certainly hope so, too. Um, uh, all cheerleaders die. Yeah. We're on the same wagon here. Yes. All cheerleaders die. Okay. Those girls get in an accident. They wake up in the morning and they're like zombies. Zombie, zombie cheerleaders. See, I love dumb shit like that. <laughs> I hope you guys like dumb shit. The hummingbird that was so serious. If it was true story, it was too serious for me. And captive state that was not true story. But I, I just could not go down that alley. Senseless violence. God, please don't watch Captive State. Okay. All right. I, I, All right. I can't say that enough. What but were you I, drinking this week, sweetheart? Even though I was completely sober completely when I watched sober. Captive State, I still could not understand it. I was so confused. So as soon as the movie went off, I said, oh my God, i got to start drinking. Maybe I'll understand this better. <laughs> it's your reward. So I broke out the motto. The motto, again, because there's the cases motto. and cases. I'm sitting on cases right yeah, now. Yeah, like I'm three. sitting on cases, three yeah. cases of motto. Yeah. $3 a bottle. Who's I'm surprised we don't have like boxes. Of, yeah, she's a smart girl. I'm surprised we don't have cases in front of us right now that have to push aside. Can I do our video? There's <laughs> cases of motto in the way. We got another pallet in. She's got I another. I could buy some more. She could. <laughs> So, Motto, our wine, yep. definitely had some grape tart locos. She I found the grape tart locos. I she don't have a can, can for you because I drank it and I went, 
grrr, and hulked it. The crunch. Threw it the in crunch. the trash. Yeah. But I'll, I'm going to bring you a can to watch next week. Yeah. But it, it, it was so good. Cool. Strawberry lemonade. Unfortunately, it kicked out my strawberry lemonade that I like very much. So we'll see. I'll find it. Sheets. A dollar cheaper than anybody. Even when they put a coupon on it. Damn. It's still cheaper at Sheets. All right. Sour grape. Sour grape. Mm-hmm. And some Mato wine. You can come to Costco and try to buy it, but I probably bought the last She probably of bought it, it all. <laughs> all right. Well, let's wish everyone a happy Father's Day. Most this coming definitely. Sunday. I got to get a card. You got to get a card. Get a card. Go Don't forget. Get a card. Watch some of these movies. Uh, you can watch Greta. I like that one. The rest of them were poopy fine, except for. <laughs> poopy fine! That is one big pile of shit. <laughs> That's an adjective. Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel was good. Yep. Other than that, God, skip everything else. Hard pass. And and I'm going to review Us next week after I okay. watch it again. Because cool. I really want to understand cool. it. But other than that, I hope you have a great week. I'm glad you came by. Sorry we missed you last week. Happy Father's Day. Give your dad a bottle of Mato. <laughs> If you can find it. You can get a 12-pack, keep 11 for yourself, and give your dad Go one. to a different Costco than the one she works at. They'll probably have, a, like, one or two left. <laughs> and don't knock on my door, because I'm not giving you none. <laughs> <laughs> have a great week. Come back and see us. Glad to see you. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you for watching Joby, a movie and a bottle of wine. Don't <laughs>